Hi everyone, my name is uh, Srijan Lukic, I'm with North Carolina State University and I'll talk about our project titled High Efficiency Multiport uh, Power Conversion for a Hybrid Propulsion System. Uh, what NC State is working on is the Integrated Converter Generator Design and uh, our partners include uh, Virginia Tech and our industry partner is uh, United Technologies. The um, application uh, we're considering is a more electric aircraft. Um, we're moving to um, more electric systems. It provides a number of benefits uh, compared to the conventional hydraulic and uh, pneumatic um, uh, solutions in terms of um, efficiency and uh, performance as well. So we can get better reliability, lower maintenance costs, reduced weight, and reduced full, uh, fuel consumption. Uh, this slide shows an example of a more electric aircraft um, architecture. Typically, we would have a um, prime mover, uh, um, for example, an, um, um, uh, an, an, an engine, a turbine followed by an electric machine uh, that is connected to a converter uh, that then feeds a, a distribution system, uh, which may be DC, AC, or hybrid AC and DC. In this work, uh, we're focusing on this piece here, which is the electric machine and the power converter. And uh, the electric machine uh, works as a starter uh, for the prime mover. Um, and then once the uh, engine is on, uh, it behaves as a generator powering up this um, distribution network. So the goals of our project is to design and virtually prototype an integrated converter generator for the aerospace application. We want to prototype uh, the converter and we want to fully validate the converter design using power hardware and the loop testing uh, and using a modified off-the-shelf machine. The electric machine requirements in the application include low cost, high gravimetric and volumetric power density. We need the machine to be robust given the application. Uh, we are aiming for high efficiency and importantly, uh, linked to the robustness, we want the machine to be fault tolerant. We have considered induction machines and permanent magnet synchronous machines for the application. And um, the starting and generating mode operating conditions are shown in the table, while the figure on the top right here uh, shows the actual uh, torque speed uh, envelope of the electric machine. We are considering two types of machines, induction machine and permanent magnet synchronous uh, machine. The uh, permanent magnet machine obviously uses uh, permanent magnets, which have a, a number of advantages, intrinsic advantages, such as um, allowing for higher power density, efficiency, and simpler control compared to the induction machine. But the induction machine has some advantages due to the lack of permanent magnets, such as lower cost. Um, a more rugged design, uh, less of a temperature sensitivity, so um, higher temperature tolerance or high temperature tolerance, and a better uh, fault tolerance. So based on the application requirements, uh, we've designed uh, two machines. One is a, um, a permanent magnet machine here shown on the top and an induction machine shown on the bottom. As expected, the um, permanent magnet machine has a higher power density and higher efficiency than the um, induction machine in line with what was discussed on the previous slide. Turning now to the power electronics converter for the integrator starter generator application, we've considered three topologies, a two-level um, uh, converter, a three-level neutral point clamp converter, and a three-level T-type converter. We're looking to uh, get high reliability, high power density, uh, and high efficiency and power quality. And based on the literature review, 
uh, we recognize that um, in this particular application, three-level converters show um, better performance than two-level converters due to lower switching losses, uh, better control of um, uh, EMI, and um, lower total harmonic distortion. This, as a result, uh, reduces the size and weight of the uh, filter, and uh, this design also can provide higher efficiency in, in rectifier mode. Um, so specifically comparing um, the three converters mentioned here, the T-type uh, has the highest efficiency by combining the low conduction losses of a two-level and low switching losses of the three-level uh, MPC under certain operating conditions. So as a result, uh, we've selected the three-level T-type converter Probably um, the, the, the deciding factor is really the um, filter size reduction and, and better EMI uh, performance, expected better EMI performance, uh, with the efficiency being very close for, for the um, three designs. Some of the uh, special considerations for a high altitude design is the um, change of dielectric properties uh, with uh, the density of air. Uh, which, in, which uh, in turn affects the uh, creepage and clearance requirements. And then uh, uh, cooling capabilities also um, a change uh, for an air-cooled system uh, as a function of um, altitude. Uh, so we've, we've considered these things um, uh, in the design of both the cooling system, the analysis of the, of the losses and the... Um, um, cooling capabilities of the, um, of the heat sink and as well as uh, when considering the creepage and clearance requirements. Uh, this slide shows the uh, preliminary design of the power converter. So we're using silicon carbide devices here. We're using TO247 uh, packaged um, um, devices to meet the power requirement uh, of the converter. We want a peak power of 50 kilowatts. Uh, we're actually paralleling uh, devices, which uh, presents a number of challenges uh, in terms of current sharing and ensuring um, uh, no oscillations between the um, uh, gate drivers. So um, significant effort uh, was put into um, ensuring the uh, same parasitic paths or parasitic inductances for both uh, devices, both in the power and in the gate loop. Um, we're using a PCB-based bus bar uh, for this design, and um, the design is such uh, as to minimize the, um, again, the loop inductances in the system and to ensure that the um, um, uh, board uh, can, in fact, carry the uh, high currents uh, experienced here. Um, and um, as I mentioned, we've uh, designed optimized commutation loops with um, local decoupling to um, re uh, minimize the voltage overshoots and uh, provide a smooth turn on and turn off of the, of the devices. So to close out, uh, our progress to date is uh, that we've determined the required machine torque speed characteristics needed to meet the application. We have two preliminary designs of the machines. Um, that um, we are now co-optimizing with the inverter uh, to come up with a final design. Uh, for the inverter itself, we've completed uh, the selection of the um, devices that we'll be using, and uh, we've completed the layout of the system for the 50-kilowatt um, um, inverter. And our next steps are uh, to complete the machine inverter co-optimization, uh, to build and test the converter, and then to convert, uh, test the converter in um, power, hardware, and the loop um, test setup. So uh, thank you all for watching, and um, have a good rest of your day.